Fox News alert now. Russian state media is now claiming that Wagner Group chief Prigozhin has been killed in a plane crash in a flight from Moscow to St. Petersburg. Florida Republican Congressman Michael Waltz sits on the House Armed Services and Foreign Affairs Committee. He'll join us rea with reaction in just a moment. But first, let's get to the news with Chief National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin. She's live at the Pentagon as we learn the details here, Jennifer. is uh, What exactly do we know about this at this point? Well, Sandra, what we know is from the official news agency TASS, which says that a plane, a private plane carrying 10 people on board, and among those people, uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin, who was long known as Putin's chef, the head of the Wagner Group, who attempted a coup against Vladimir Putin um, over a month ago. He was on board. The plane crashed near Tver, which is uh, northwest of Moscow. It was en route to St. Petersburg. There is some video evidence that has appeared on Telegram and on Twitter, suggesting that a Russian air defense system may have shot down the private jet uh, um, and that Prigozhin was on board. Uh, we're seeing now news from other uh, Russian news sources. This is really no surprise, Sandra. Uh, nobody expected Yevgeny Prigozhin to survive very long after attempting that coup against uh, Vladimir Putin. In some ways, it's surprising he he lived as long as he did. If these reports are proven to be true out of Moscow, but state services, uh, TASS and Commerçant and others are now reporting that Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of the Wagner Group, uh, was killed in a plane crash um, uh, outside Moscow. Sandra. Uh, Jennifer Griffin, uh, we'll get back to you uh, with any more details that we get from that news. Thank you very much.